Hi there ladies, it's Manisha here and welcome to my channel. So I'm back today to share with you another nail art design. Now these are the products I'll be using. I've got this really pretty um, stamping plate from the Creative Shop and it's number 28. I'll be using one of the designs off that. And I've already started my mani with this pretty hollow polish from Masura. So I'll have all the links for products that I can provide for you down in the description box. These are the two mirror um, powders I'll be using and they're from Dance Legend but I've purchased them from Hypnotic Polish so I'll have the link for that for you down in the description box too. And the um, Clear Jelly Stamper I've got a 10% off discount code for you and um, that's just my name Manisha. And I'll be using a, a gel, um, a black gel polish and also a um, water based top coat for that too because um, when you're using mirror powders it's best just to use a water based top coat or a gel top coat to stop any wrinkling. So straight into the mini, this is the um, gorgeous polish going on here, I thought I'd just show you that step so that um, you can see how beautiful this polish actually is. It's um, definitely opaque in two to three coats and um, for this mini I just went ahead and did two coats so I was really pleased with how it turned out in two coats and it's um, definitely a very pr very pretty shade of green I do like it a lot, it's one of my favourite ones uh, favourite non-magnetic polish from Masara brand and that's it there in all its gorgeousness, I hope you like it too and there's also a still image for you too so you can have another look at it so in order for this to work, um, you do have to have a matte um, coat on your nails, otherwise the powder tends to stick to everything. And um, that's the gel polish I'm just using there. And I'm just going to be using that on that stamping plate. Now, thing when you use gel polishes for stamping, when you put the image onto your nails it will smear a bit. Um, and I actually wasn't too worried about this, um, the fine lines aren't as fine but it does give you more surface area for the, um, the powder to stick to. So that has to be cured in a lamp um, for 30 seconds, I've just got an LED lamp and then it's time just to apply the powder onto your nail so I've just sort of dabbed the colours onto there um, using two different sides of the brush. Um, sorry the, the sponge applicator just to put it on and then I just basically rub it in so the idea of it is it's just going to stick onto the parts where the black gel polish is and not on the base um, polish so to speak so that's the idea of putting the MAC top coat on first because it gives you an area there where the um, powder won't stick so once I've sort of applied that in, I just use a fan brush just to um, take off the excess. Then I remove my liquid latex and do any other final clean up with a um, brush and I think I just use a bit of polish remover for this part here. Or you can just leave it right to the end and just wash your hands. And then that's basically the um, water based top coat going on there. You could also do a gel top coat on this stage here but I just wanted to do one with um, a water based top coat because I've finally gone ahead and purchased some and that's basically the design done there so I do hope you like what you've seen I actually went ahead and did sesh feet on top of the water based top coat once it all fully dried and um, yeah just to give it some extra shine and to make it last a bit longer if you have any com comments or questions please leave them down in the comment section down below and if you like what you've seen definitely subscribe to my channel um, and hopefully I'll see you again in my next video. Thanks for stopping by. Bye for now.